Okay, so I created this patch, Floating Notes. Let's go look at it. And I set up the uh, mod wheel to use the grain filter, the bandwidth of this filter. If I push up the mod wheel, the bandwidth will get smaller. But you can also see that the grains, which are now, you know, shorter because that's representing the bandwidth. You see the rectangles are much taller, and then they're much shorter. That's representing the bandwidth. You can see it's jumping around a lot, you know, up, up and down. Um, and I wanted to show how that's working. Let's go back to a default patch. And then we'll grab that sound, same sound sample by tapping on the waveform. And then I tap on that. And I can go down to the sound. It was Flutter Pianos. And here's just the sample as it was. I can tap on the waveform again to lose the name. So it's a beautiful sample to begin with, and a lot of that. Uh, a lot of the activity was in the sample itself. Um, let's slow it down a little bit. And I want to look at how we added some dynamics with uh, filter and placement in particular. So if I'm just going to play a middle C and I'm going to go to the grains B panel, all of the italicized parameters are associated with the B panel. Uh, so we're going to go over to the filter. And the first parameter is the bandwidth. You can see as I start to turn that down, the height in the representation here decreases. And you can also hear that the sound is being bandpass filtered. Now all of the grains parameters have a counterpart. If you press on them, you get to the secondary parameter, which in this case controls the center of the bandpass filter. Okay, so a bandpass filter. What's interesting here is that this is being done at the level of generating the grains. So you'll see these secondary parameters here, which we can tap on to get access to. They'll turn orange, and we can change them with this encoder that's now orange. I don't have an icon yet for these, so I just used a circle to make it clear you could touch them. Um, as I turn this up, this will increase the random variation in the bandwidth center. And similarly, we can have random variation in the bandwidth. If we now combine this with the placement, so the placement is similar to panning, but incorporates binaural rendering to make it more immersive. So if we move the sound to the left, it's all left. To the right, it's all right, so we're moving the placement. But you'll see the second parameter here is called scatter. So if I tap that, I'm now changing the scatter, which is gonna randomize the placement.
And of course, these can be modulated. So let's say we want to modulate the base placement parameter to have a spinning around the head effect. We would hold it down and connect it with the LFO. And now, if you listen closely over headphones, you'll hear the sound spinning around the head at the rate of this LFO. There is still random variation being applied around that placement. Similarly, we could go back to the filter and let's say we decrease some of the random variation that's happening. We can modulate the center. Let's use that same LFO, but in this case, I'll make a reverse strength connection. So I'll twist it to the left. So now you can see that the center is being modulated by the LFO. And we can also see the color of the grain is indicating its left-right position. So when yellow, it's off to the left, and when red, it's off to the right. And because I made a reverse strength connection, you can see these are out of phase. This is a good chance to talk a little bit about some of the LFO parameters. We can of course change the shape from some standard shapes. We have this uh, bias parameter. shape-changing parameter. I'm going to slow this down a little bit. But we can certainly add a lot more in the way of modulation extras and goodies. One thing that's already interesting is now that we have this warp parameter available on the auxiliary knob here, we can apply the same modulation scheme. So just hold this down and let's say we want to modulate the warp of LFO1 with LFO2. So now I've done that. You'll see that this warp is, is changing across time.